guys hope you guys are doing well you guys already know the deal this is mark once again with no blemish mobile detailing so we're out here in the wildemore area and we have our first service of the day and i just wanted to show you guys a few of the products that we use it's pretty much our go-to and our daily users so always taking into consideration everything that we show you guys and we uh we tell you guys on our videos 90% of this stuff is actually just our personal uh, preference and what we like, the chemicals that we work with. Um, and these are our go-to. So these are our everyday chemicals that we use. And yes, there is other chemicals out there that we have tried that we like, um, but just for um, the time being, this is what we have. So we're working with those things. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave all our chemicals in the description below. And if you guys seen our last videos, um, or our last video, what we like to do is, if you haven't seen it, is we always like to wipe down the surface areas first before we jump on our vacuum. And of course, this is gonna be the PNS uh, interior cleaner. I'll leave, the, I'll leave the description and the names in the video below, just so we can make sure we have the right chemicals that I'm telling you guys these are. But I know there's some products out there that I'm looking forward to trying pretty soon I know one of them is that uh, all purpose I believe I've seen it over from uh, I think his name's Mark over at uh, M3 Detailing <clears throat> I've seen him using it and I actually liked it so I wanted to give it a try but right now we're still using our uh, PNS and Interior Express and we use that for our maintenances and our details at the moment. And um, it can be a little expensive on your cost because it is good product and the price is, it's not too expensive, but it is more pricier than a lot of other stuff that you can use. But what we do is uh, we, we like to dilute our, uh, products and you could use it directly nothing wrong with it but for us because of the cost I don't want to say the cost but just just to be wise just to use wisdom we like to dilute the product so it helps us um, save uh, our product I like it because it's a all-purpose interior cleaner so you can use it on all surfaces of the inside of your vehicle you don't have to worry about it damaging anything you can use it on leathers cloth your plastics and you have no issues so that's the, the perks about 
that chemical. Alright guys, so we're getting ready to jump on our windows. And as you can see here, I got some blue stuff in this bottle. Hope you guys don't mind our bottles. We're not really into all that fancy bottle stuff. So this is actually just one of our older uh, chemical bottles that we end up just using for whether it's just water or touch up. So in here, what we have is we have a window solution. I don't know if you guys can see the weather right now. It's a little cloudy, so that actually helps out. So what we do is, um, I'll be honest, I'm still learning our uh, ratios when it comes to how to dilute your bottles properly. So what I usually do is I'll just put about a cap full, um, depending on the weather, and then I'll fill up the rest with spot-free water. And um, this is our, our window solution. I don't really have issues with it. Like I said, I've said it in the past. I think the biggest key to doing good windows is clean rags. So as you see here, we have a brand new microfiber rag. Um, I'm gonna use that on this client's car. And I still have the solution there on the window. And because the weather's not too bad, we don't have to worry much about streaks let me know in the comments below I don't know about you guys but sometimes windows can be the hardest thing to do So right here, we finished steam cleaning these seats. We wiped them down real good. And what Brother Renee is gonna go ahead and start applying is that's our Meguiar's leather treatment. Not only does it work for the leather, but it also works for the plastics and vinyl. So this stuff works really good. Um, can't go wrong with Meguiar's. There is some other products out there that are really good also. Um, like the coach chemi your interior um chemical i'll put that uh a picture of the bottle here so you know what i'm talking about that stuff works really good but we only use that product for when we're doing full details um because it's you know it's high quality stuff and we like it but we also like the mcguire so the mcguire's is something that we use pretty much all the time not only for our interiors but our exterior plastics vinyl um you know works real good you can see right now that it you know it does look a little extra shiny but the thing is that you can always come back you know wipe it off with the rag you know and get that uh desired condition that you like a little bit more so right here this is one of our products uh from our local uh, detail shops out here in uh lake elsinore area they're actually i think located out of um temecula marietta i don't know why 
that's gonna be the uh, SoCal wax shop. And this is gonna be the, um, the soap products. There's other soaps that we actually enjoy using, but I'll be honest, for now, I think we bought the five gallon um, soap. So what we're doing right now is we're just using what we have. And then of course, there is different soaps um, that we use throughout our week, depending on the condition. So like, say like if we're doing a ceramic maintenance, um, there's a different soap that we use. Um, this one is gonna just be a wash and a wax. So the soap already has uh, wax chemicals inside of it that gives it that extra gloss once you're finished up. Um, you know, so we enjoy it and, um, you know, I'll try to leave the link down below if they have it or. So right here, what we're using is gonna be the Zep Industrial Cleaner. We actually like this stuff a lot. It's very safe to use. Um, not only can you use it on your rims and tires, but you can actually use it on uh, different parts of the vehicle without causing any damage to the paint um, and to the surfaces. But I will recommend that you dilute it All right, guys, so we're getting ready. The vehicle's all dried up. I'm getting ready to apply our wax. I think I'm gonna skip the wax because we don't always use wax. But what we are gonna be doing is shortly, we're actually gonna be getting ready to apply our tire dressing. So me personally, I have used uh, different tire dressings and I'm grateful because in the local area, one of the water spots, uh, you know, my brother Juan, he's out there at the King's Water Liquor and uh, Water and Ice Cream Store right here in Lake Elsinore. And he actually has the tire dressing that I like. So this product, I have already searched it. They don't sell it on Amazon. I think you're going to have to go to the direct, um, um, seller, manufacturer, wherever you want to call it. They have it there. There's also a spot out in, uh, banning uh dylan's detail supply i see him he had it um i'm sure there's other detail shops that have it but i haven't found this stuff on amazon and it is only in uh a few different detail shops but i actually love this stuff a lot and we'll show you guys the process and once again i'm gonna leave all um you know whether it's a picture here up in the screen or down in the description below i'll go ahead and do that for you guys but this is our go-to right here our tire dressing, we love this stuff. everybody so that's it we are all finished up with our video for the day hope you guys like it don't forget to like and subscribe god bless you guys